Let's just get right down to it. I'm taking Seton Hall and the points. The Pirates are top 45 in scoring defense, 62.4 PPG allowed, field goal percentage defense, 39.2, and three-point percentage defense, 28. So I think they can do enough to slow down Marquette's potent offense and keep this one close. Three of Seton Hall's last four losses have been decided by five points or less. Meanwhile, Marquette is just 3-4 and four ATS in its last seven, 2-9 and nine ATS in its last 11 against Seton Hall at home, and 2-7-1 and one ATS in its last 10 versus Big East opponents. In their last four appearances, 3-1 and one ATS, the Pirates also have covers against Xavier and Rutgers as 8-point underdogs in both. Seton Hall plus 7. Total? Give me the over. Even despite mentioning Seton Hall's scoring defense, I think this number is low enough for there to be value in the overplay here. Marquette is top 25 in both scoring offense and field goal percentage, plus has only seen two totals lower than this all season, both overs. On the other side, SHU was just one point shy of the number in its last contest against Xavier after hitting the over in its previous matchup with Providence. The total has gone over in five of Marquette's last six, seven of its last eight games played on a Tuesday, and each of its last five played on a Tuesday at home. Over 140 and a half. Give it to me. Two plays we're going to go with once again. Seton Hall plus seven. Seton Hall, Marquette, over 140 and a half. What say you? Let me know. Comment session below. As always, Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get him. Get that cash. This is Trending Rabbit.